live from the simulation of a hell world that we all inhabit. It's funny. Because all, all the funny things are here from all around. Here's your host. It's a guy. It's a white guy. Just want to welcome everybody and we have a great show for you today we're going to be looking at some of the funniest clips you know you've heard of liar liar pants on fire what if your pants were on fire because you were fighting a person who had magic and you were unable to defend yourself because of being overweight imagine if that you're overweight and a, and a magic man is attacking you with fire <laughs> well you'd just be burned to death you would just be burned to death and hey look it's uh oh is that that two fellas kissing uh, <laughs> and, and then he and then he fell into lava and then he fell into lava they say that happens sometimes you go on a picnic and you've heard of ants at your picnic but what if instead of having ants at the picnic you had a very bad murderer that would be a little worse don't you think that would be a little worse and this guy he self-harms himself with his scythe and then it turns into a burrito backstab it, I guess I guess that's what they brought on the picnic was self-harm burritos no wonder they're dead no wonder that they are dead now they say they say that you can't run from your problems uh, but what if everything ran away from you instead what if everything you loved just left you and ran off what if every what if you just woke up alone Hey, this is a tale as old as time. They say that, you you know, they say, watch your step. They say, watch that first step. And when they're talking about when people fall down. Well, if it's on an elevator, well, if it's on an elevator, they say, going down. <laughs> Verticality. Am I right? Hey, look, this guy says, you are not going to kill me and the other guy says R2 <laughs> which is the button that he used to m to attack and viciously harm his opponent hey sometimes you have a friend who's managed to buff their sorcery catalyst with the dark moon blade and in that kind of situation you know people want street justice they want to see the guy get hammered <laughs> they really nailed that guy <laughs> Uh, nailed it. <laughs> uh, he's, he's, he's pulverized. All of his bones smashed. You know, when I was a kid, people used to say to me, they used to say, you don't, you're not a loser if you try and fail. You're a loser if you don't try. But this, this guy, he stands to, this, this guy, he disagrees. Look, he, he never tries until he does. And when he finally does try, he's just absolutely... The world just shits on his whole life. The whole world tells him, no, don't ever try anything. <laughs> don't do anything. <laughs> when I was in school, they made us read uh, that old Edgar Allan Poe story. Um, it's called The Pit and the Pendulum, and you may you may remember it uh, if you've also read it. It's a story about a man who has to choose between dying in a pit or a pendulum. Alright? Do you guys remember that? But what if, what if it really happened and two people had to decide between a pit and a pendulum? You could, you know, like, hey, they'd probably... They'd probably just look at that situation and they and they and they'd weep and they would weep and say, "I don't want to die." <laughs> they'd say, "They'd say, please don't kill me because what if nothing happens after this? What if what if this is all there is and you have taken away and you have taken away my my sentience? What if I never experience anything after this? Uh, I don't want to be dead." 
It's the pit and the pendulum, am I right? Am I right? Hey, sometimes, you know, the, they say the best laid plans of mice and mans often go awry. And in this situation, you couldn't be more awry. Unless, of course, you were toast. <laughs> Toasting bread. <laughs> and he's dead. Hey, people tell you all the time, it's important to pay attention to your surroundings. Mr. Magoo much? Hey, hey, you, are you looking? Are you paying attention? Hey. <laughs> are you disabled because you're blind? <laughs> uh. They always say, no good deed goes unpunished. No good deed goes unpunished. And what they mean by that is if you do a good thing, life will often find a way to make things bad for you. And so if you free a secret wizard from a, from a caged death circus, uh, you might get kicked off of a ledge and into a pit filled with snakes. <laughs> Don't free that wizard. <laughs> No good deed. <laughs> Goes unpunished. Just born. Reborn every day. Into a hell. Into a hell of snake pits. So you've heard people say you and what army. Hey, well here's here's an example of uh, an army uh, just getting put down by an army of one. You know? Hey, what do you do if your army has to fight uh, a powerful murderer? on a very narrow ledge and you can't use your numbers to your advantage. Let's ask George Washington about that one. Let's ask Napoleon. <laughs> oh, I guess they're just as dead as these guys. <laughs> they experienced life and then it stopped for them. You know, they say the bigger you are, the harder you fall. Uh, but also, you know, the bigger you are, sometimes the more you're cooked alive, in a hell flame born from the abyss <laughs> but it's, it's true though it is true sometimes the bigger they are uh, the more they mangle your flesh and just remove all life from you sometimes the bigger they are you know <laughs> sometimes the bigger they are the bigger the pancake uh oh uh oh we all like those pancakes don't we take a pancake and eat it in the morning it's like a little it's like a dessert breakfast and that's one way that we can that's one thing that we can choose to do you got to cook those pancakes we can choose to eat those pancakes and try and make this we can make this hell world a little better if for just a moment when we eat those pancakes uh oh look who's back these guys are back look at them they're back again can you imagine being reborn and Every day you're reborn, you're hunted by the same murderer as you try and navigate uh, a puzzle world full of snake people and balls and pits and pendulums. Could you imagine that? Oh, I, I would just not want to be alive. I would just not wish to live. That's what I would do. You see him pull out that... They say, you know, when you pull out your shield... Life will backstab you. They say, hey, if life hands you lemons, you're probably about to get backstabbed. Uh-oh! The ball got him. <laughs> you know, they say a rolling stone gathers no moss, but it, it does collect uh, the bones and flesh of human beings who are trapped underneath it. Uh, unless, unless, uh, unless they're a ravioli. Rolling balls don't... They, they can't harm ravioli. <laughs> I, you know, that's what my mom said when she would make ravioli. Uh, you know, they, they say that you can't run from your problems. Uh, especially not if your problem is a very bad murderer <laughs> with a giant sword. It'll just knock you down and kill you. And that's, hey, you know, hey, that's what life is. That's, it happens. That's, that's literally happened to people. <laughs> You've heard of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. But have you ever heard about uh, being melted to death uh, and thrown from incredible heights to your death? Have you heard that one? 
<laughs> they don't. You don't hear about that one as much, do you? Yeah, they say wrong place, wrong time. You know. Sometimes you have three friends, uh, and everything looks like it's it's gonna go it's gonna go great for you. Uh, but this this clip sent into us proves that that's not always the case. And uh, while we're while we're taking a look at this clip, I'd like to go ahead and remind everyone uh, that the world that we live in is probably not real. Uh, it's more likely that we live in a simulation, and so every day we can try and make it better, uh, or we can accept the absolute nightmare that we inhabit. Hey, hey, did you ever think about maybe God? likes when terrible things happen you ever think about that what if what if what if what if the god of our world is uh is just an absolute monster who likes it when when people do terrible things so you po i poisoned him <laughs> with he tried to block but you can't you know what they say you can't block poison and they say that two heads are better than one but what happens if those two heads are on the same body? Well, they make documentaries about that kind of thing. And let me tell you something. I, it, it is not good. You don't want to be two heads on one body. But in that situation, having two heads is not better than one. I would... That, that, that's a real thing that's happened. Can you imagine? Can, no, seriously, can you imagine how terrible it is that we live in a world where sometimes a person is born with two heads, or I guess two persons are born with one body. Just, god damn. Hey, I guess, I guess one good turn deserves another on the back. Two heads are better than one, they say, but not, not if both of those heads uh, are suffering from uh, degenerative brain dis disease and so they can't think properly <laughs> then it's not then you, you need it'd be better to have one head with a working brain <laughs> where are you what are you doing over there you know that's what you, you just say hey what are you doing <laughs> oh today's show has been brought to you by bottled water stay hydrated you've got to stay hydrated you know they say every day we make a, a conscious effort when we wake up we make a decision every day uh, uh, how we're gonna live our lives but I guess that's probably not true for people uh, who are thrown from great huge distances after being uh, cooked alive in a in a firestorm it's I bet you didn't make that decision. Uh, hey, I want to thank everybody for watching the funny the funny show. Thanks. Okay, now in all seriousness, thank you guys. I appreciate you watching. Um, I'm trying to put out more videos during this quarantine. Uh, I hope everybody's holding up okay. I'm just uh, trying to give you a modicum of entertainment um, you know while you're stuck in the house. I hope uh, everybody is holding up well. Uh, stay safe. And later, y'all.